Welcome to Studio Biology. In this video, we are going to discuss the structure of a stamen. A stamen is equivalent to the microsporophyll and all the stamens in a flower constitute androsium. The stamens form the third whorl of a flower or innermost whorl of a staminate flower. A typical stamen consists of an anther and a filament. We can observe that this is an anther and this is a filament. Filament represents the stalk of anther which is connecting the anther with thalamus. Now anthers. Anthers are basically the knob-like terminals having sporangiums in lobes. Now if we take the section, some pollen sacs are there. which can be termed as sporangium. If we view the anther posteriorly, then it is clearly visible that a region is there in between the two lobes which is connecting them. This is known as connective. These are two lobes of anther and this one is connective which can be usually observed posteriorly. Now connective is the sterile band that connects the two lobes of anther posteriorly. Now types of anther on the basis of structure. First one is diathecus and tetrasporangiate. This is a very common type of anther and in this type of anther two lobes are there in anther and each lobe is having two sporangiums, so two lobes and four sporangium within. That's why it is diathecus and tetrasporangiate. The examples include Dhatura. Next one is monothecus and by sporangiate. In this type of anther, one lobe is present with two sporangia. The examples include hibiscus.
नेक्स्ट वन इज वेरी रेयर टाइप ऑफ एंथर दैट इज मोनोथीकस एंड मोनोस्पोरेंगिएट in this type of anther one lobe with one sporangium is there example include arsuthobium which is also known as dwarf mistletoe so डायथिकस एंड टेट्रासपोर एंगेट में अपियर लाइक दिस वाइल द मोनोथिकस एंड बायोस्पोर एंगेट विल अपियर लाइक दिस एंड मोनोथिकस एंड मोनोस्पोर एंगेट विल अपियर लाइक दिस नेक्स्ट टर्म विच विल बी डिस्कस्ड इज स्टेमिनोड नो वॉट इज दिस स्टेमिनोड इट रिप्रेजेंट्स अ स्टराइल और रूडिमेंटरी स्टेमन that doesn't produce pollen grains the examples include panstamen grinelli which is having a hairy staminode so such stamens may be modified for other functions but it's clear that these are sterile these will not produce the pollen grains so these are the few points of discussions about the stamens thanks for watching this video